On centralized crypto exchanges, transactions are fast and cheap. After all, how can they not be when it's a simple matter of using databases stored on servers controlled by one exchange? Yet it's precisely that perk which constitutes a centralized point of failure. In stark contrast, decentralized exchanges don't have that point of failure. However, transactions aren't instant because they need to be confirmed on a blockchain, which takes time. And gas fees can get notoriously expensive and thus transacting on such exchanges isn't always cheap. As a potential bridge between these two worlds, we have Loopring, a protocol on Ethereum, which makes it possible to build exchanges on top of it and get the best of both worlds, i.e. no centralized point of failure on the one hand and cheap as well as fast transactions on the other. How? Through cryptography called ZK rollups or zero knowledge rollups. The main selling point here is that not everything needs to happen on chain with the costs and confirmation times involved. Instead, key computations can be handled, yeah, off chain. After drawing the line and unlike with the average decentralized exchange, loopering exchanges are able to function properly with a significantly lower number of blockchain transactions. All right, so how do you as a user trade on a loopering exchange? Well, to simplify, first of all, you send cryptocurrency to a loopering smart contract. Secondly, to settle various transactions, and as mentioned previously, a lot is done off chain with individual transactions packaged together rather than sent the blockchain one at a time. And thirdly, the zero knowledge proofs associated with each batch of transactions enable anyone to reconstruct one transaction or another, in case you were worried about risks associated with not handling everything on chain. And is there a token involved? Yes, indeed there is, the Loopring Cryptocurrency or LRC. If you want to run an exchange on top of Loopring, you must lock up a certain amount of LRC. Aside from that, the average user can stake LRC to receive a cut of the trading fees the protocol makes, as well as buy, sell, and trade LRC. 